You asked for it, I'm going to deliver. This is my color quickie on Upward, the current Sherwin-Williams color of the year. It really was an exciting choice that caught me off guard because we've seen so many warm colors be used so prominently in design. And now we have one of the biggest paint companies in the world letting us know that, hey, it's okay to feel blue sometimes. But there's nothing blue about this color except for the hue itself. It is very uplifting, airy, light, and buoyant. And I'm really excited to talk about it today. I'll get into some technical information first about this color, but then we're gonna get into some color pairings that I've chosen specifically for it, both for your trim and your walls. So if you're into it, Let's get into it. Now, Upward is one of these sky blue slash denim blue hybrids. And that's mainly because of how light it is. And we can figure this out by looking at its light reflectance value or its LRV. And from zero to 100, this tells us how light the color looks. It scores a 57, which means that's how much light it's reflecting, the percentage. And that makes it a decently light color. It's a lighter mid-tone. And this is a good thing because it means it's going to feel blue. It was intended to be a blue, so you don't want to have a color that is way too light and then maybe would feel washed out in really well-lit areas. This color won't do that. There's enough to it where it will be noticed in a beautiful way, but never really feel all that heavy whatsoever. So being the color of the year, it's also part of one of the color palettes that Sherwin-Williams released, the Anthology Collection Volume 1, part of the blues and greens palette, of course. This is the main blue, I guess you could say. And I believe it to be a little more versatile of a paint color than you might think. It's light enough that you don't need to restrict it to the well-lit parts of your home. Even if you have an area that maybe doesn't have a ton of natural light, this color will still suit the space pretty well. And I think you can use it in an entire room. You can use Use it in accent form on furniture, on cabinets, on vanities, things like that, especially if you're surrounding it with lighter warm neutrals, off-whites, creamy colors. It's a perfect match. As an exterior choice, I think this would be a nice front door color. It is more on the passive side of things that you might want to go with, especially if you want like one of those bright, colorful front doors. This one won't be insanely vibrant, but if you have a much lighter, more neutral color surrounding it, it will pop pretty nicely. Now, what if you wanted to use it inside? What are some trim colors that go really well with it? Well, on Color Quickie, I always give you two. I got a light and a dark. And because most people go for light trim and baseboards, I usually start with that. Ceiling Bright White has the perfect description to pair with Upward. I have it here. Forecast is bright, clear skies, and a calm mood with this radiant white. So of course it's gonna go well with Upward, right? Which is kind of the sky blue. Ceiling Bright White also has a touch of a cool gray undertone. There is maybe a bit of blue in there as well, which will help it tie directly to Upward. But overall, it is still a pretty clear clean white. It doesn't feel like a light blue. It has this nice quality to it that is still soft because it's not insanely vibrant, but bright enough to have nice contrast with any of the colors we're going to talk about today. The dark trim choice is a much darker blue. It is called Distance. And this one has an LRV of 15, so quite a bit darker, but not really at black level. It has a comforting feel to it, and it sort of seems like the much darker brother of Upward. Like they have kind of very similar undertones happening there. So that's why they're just a great match for just a light and a dark pairing on your walls and your trim. You could also use this as another dark wall color if you want. I think you can get away with it. I mean, in this picture here, it just looks beautiful with all the wood tones of this room. So if you have a lot of that going on, this will give you an idea of how great it could look. Not just on your trim, but on your walls as well. Now, when it comes to wall colors, I think if you're starting with Upward, you could make it the main color of your palette, or you can go with something a little safer and opt for something like Divine White, which is an off-white, warmer leaning, great pairing for Upward, but also just passive enough that it can be the main color. It can be the color that's sort of gluing everything together, just connecting the dots. It has a very clean feeling to it, but not too bright. Not going to look obnoxious on your walls or on larger spaces. And also there is enough of a difference between it and sealing bright white as your trim color. So there will be a noticeable contrast, which I think is always nice to have. Now, what if you wanted a little more color, a little more saturation, some more darkness? Llama wool would be my second choice for color pairings. And this is a brown. It really is part of the orange family because brown is technically a variation of orange that's been shaded down. But honestly, 
This is more of a taupe leaning brown that has just a bit of a toned down quality, a little bit of gray mixed in to help it feel a bit more passive, but you don't lose that brown, which I think in some cases taupe can do if it's a little more gray leaning. This one's more brown centric, which I think is perfect for upward because I love blue and brown or blue and beige, blue and tan, any warm neutral really works so well, especially with the lighter blues like Upward. Don't be shy about using this in larger doses in entire rooms. For some reason, I've never really been a huge fan of brown bedrooms. I don't know why, Just that's just me. But in dining rooms, living rooms, the powder room, offices, things like that, this could be a great choice. You could also use it as an accent wall color or accent ceiling if you're feeling really ambitious. But I think it's just a reliable neutral that just happens to be on the much darker end of things. Now in terms of the accent color, bleh de la bleh de blue blah bleh. <laughs> I didn't really want to go with something too dramatic and insane because I didn't want to pull too much focus away from upward. I ended up going with a color that you could say is adjacent to it, sort of along the same sort of segment of the color wheel, but instead of blue, it's favoring purple. It's called Mystical Shade. Now this is a mid-tone that is on the darker side of things with a 40 LRV. Really what I love about it is it has a neutral quality to it because of the gray aspect. It is kind of a tone of purple and that makes it really usable in a number of situations. You don't need to think of this as something that's gonna pull too much focus, although it will be noticeable. You will see that purple and I think that's what sets it apart in this palette. What's great is it works alongside Upward, but kind of in the opposite way. It's on the darker side, I guess. Upward has this uplifting feeling to it. It's lighter. It's definitely more blue leaning. Mystical Shade is also cooler, but a little bit darker, a little more shaded, and of course, purple. Just gives you some variety, both in depth, but also hue. Here's the palette all together. Please let me know what you think. And we got another video right over here just for you. And don't forget to check out our Patreon where we have multiple videos released every single Sunday just for our members. It's an amazing way to support what we do so we can continue making all this content for you.